What's up guys and girls, it's EP with Styles of Life. Today, I got an unboxing. It's not a box though. It's a package. I just got some new raw denim. The reason for that is because my APCs, the one you guys saw in the last raw denim informational video from like two, two years back, that pair, the crotch blew on me for the second time. But I have a trusty alter, alter, alterator, alteration specialist. A person that does alterations. I have a person that does alterations and they repaired it last time and this time it blew in two spots right below the zipper and then where it normally blows in the cross seams. For those of you that don't know raw denim does blow out like they're, they do they do rip around the crotch because that's where there's a lot of friction and with like any material they wear it down but with raw denim the beautiful thing is that even though they get like blown out and there's holes and like you have to get them repaired, they're still repairable. That's the beautiful thing. So like, even if you can only afford one pair of denim, get a real nice pair, and that will last you for years to come because when you repair, it'll be like 10, 15 bucks. Like mine cost me $15 for two holes. And I will show you guys the result when I get them back, I promise. But there was a special sale going on on okoyamadenim.com and I had to get these white slug raw denim. They are a collaboration between Okayama Denim, Okayama Denim and Japan Blue, which is a sub brand of Momotaro for those of you that know what Momotaro jeans are. They are quality Japanese salvage denim. And the beautiful thing about these ones is they have the white weft. Ah, that's the reason why I wanted pure blue Japans. That was gonna be my next purchase of raw denim. They do go for like 300, three bills on, the pair I want was about three bills. and. I could not justify paying for that much yet because I didn't need them yet. I wanted them, but I did not need them. There's other things that I had to make purchases on. But these are retail 175, they're 18 ounces. And for those of you that don't know what white weft is, it's when jeans are made, there's cross threads, right? And the weft is like the horizontal thread. So like most jeans, like the APCs have like a green weft. And so if the weft is green, like the APCs are green, they fade kind of yellow. I'll put a picture right here, some faded APCs so you guys get a good idea. And then the reason why I wanted Pure Blue Japan's PBJs, they call it in the denim community, is because they have white weft and they're super slubby, right? Slubby means that the denim is more uh, rugged, like ruggy, like it has a lot of hair sticking out. And it's uncomfortable at first, like a yarn ball, but when you wear it in, they break they break down and get super soft. Super soft compared to like the APCs, which get super slippery because they're not as slubby. They're, they're what you guys are normally used to, right? With the white web, what it means is that it fades white. I'm gonna put a picture of some PBJs that are faded right here, and you guys will get a good idea compared to the APCs and how they fade. You guys see that, right? The fading on the whiteness is freaking gorgeous compared to the green. Not saying that the green does not look good because any fading looks good, guys, as long as natural fades. I need to open it before I talk too much, all right, guys? All right, straight from Japan. You see this package? Straight in Japanese letters and stuff. Boom. Woo! Woo! Those are fire. Look at this. Look at this. Look at it, it came in the package, I'm about to go. Look at that. It has like, oh, it's a zip lock, yo. That's when you know it's fresh. That's when you know it's fresh. Take these out. Oh, yeah. Oh my God, these are so sexy. Oh my gosh. I'm not gonna try them on yet because it's freaking hot outside and I bought these because they're cheap. They're on sale. I got them for like 150 shit, right? And oh man. And I'm gonna save them, put them on reserve for the fall or like towards like November. Cause normal, I like to break, I like to start my denim in around November. I, I, I don't know why. Every brown denim I always buy is always around October or November. And that's when I start wearing them because it's like getting colder, you know? And I think that's what I'm gonna do with these ones, especially them being 18 ounces. 
it's gonna be different. I've never had anything over like 13 and a half ounces. And this is the next step. I mean, you can get us 14, 15, 16 ounce, but I decided to go with the 18 ounce. My buddy, one of my best friends, he is going for, he just ordered a pair of unbranded 21 ounces. So I'm gonna see what he's planning on doing with those. And if anything, maybe we can go toe to toe and see how the fades go over time. But that guy puts in work on his denim, yo. Like no matter the pair he has. But that's what I got for you guys today. Stay tuned for these raw denim and stay tuned stay tuned for these and how they progress over time and stay tuned for the return of the ATCs after the second crotch repair guys. If you liked my video today guys please click like, click subscribe, comment down below, I will reply. It's about communication guys, talking to each other and learning and growing together because this world is a circle guys. This world. 